Alrighty. So, today, Thinkorswim decided to be down, so I'm going to be giving the trading recap based on the trading view charts. So, our first trade of the day was a revenue trade by Square. We mentioned Square in the game plan over 144.50. We got a dip down in the morning to about 143.50. I was kind of fiddling around with Thinkorswim, so I didn't catch the first initial move. But we did catch, if we can get this drawing tool up, we did catch this little bull flag. This is a three-minute chart because it looks a little bit cleaner on the three-minute chart on TradingView. But we went long right about here. On SQ, 145.73, we got a nice push up, push down, got, got a little bit burned on Theta, it was down about 5 to $10 at this point, but then SQ started to push up. Our stop loss was just below 145, maybe like a 5 minute close below there, so that was our stop loss, and then SQ got a nice push up, we said our target's around the 148 area, and we got filled right about here on SQ, about 147.80 area, 147.90 area, just in front of 148 for a nice revenue trade of $160. Um, the next trade of the day was Apple, and let's refresh this page, <laughs> if we can get it, or we can go back to here. Trading view is still kind of learning, so work with me on the fly right here. Uh, okay, let's exit that. So Apple, we had a swing trade, closed bullishly on Friday, had a nice push up at the end of the day, and Apple made a new all-time high just by a few pennies, uh, 464 is all-time high. It opened the day at 464.27. However, they the market participants decided to start to sell it right in the morning. I was like, oh, no, here we go. We got a flush. And we started to do a, a bear pullback. So first initial move makes it the bear pullback. We had a nice pullback. And then um, Apple started breaking the support at about 461. And I got out of Apple for a $48 loss on that swing trade. Um, I did have one share. And that share I swing traded, I was able to just go for break even on. So that's the difference between shares and options. Shares, it's a break even. Options, it's a, it's a decent sized loss. So, um, after Apple, so Apple, watch for if it can close hourly back above 460, it's good to go. And hourly below, you know, I'd say 456 is bad for the short term. The SPY is being a little bit choppy. So keep an eye out for Apple. That was in the game plan. And then Tesla was also in our game plan to trade. And we were saying Tesla over 1685. And again, I was fumbling with Thinkorswim this morning so didn't wasn't able to catch the first move but we were able to catch this nice little bull flag right here and let's get this drawing tool out we can do this we went we went we went log right about here <laughs> this, this little ugly little circle and um we're looking to swing trade this because remember i said i don't think tesla will stop at 1800 uh, it is stopping right now but it's it, the fact that the buyers are already stepping up at 1756 means it's likely to continue we might see something like a bull flag and then a pop <laughs> if that kind of makes a little bit of sense <laughs> these charts are a little bit funny so sq apple Tesla, nice uh, solid way to start Monday, and um, let's get ready for the rest of the week. Uh, Spy is still choppy until it's not. Spy could see all-time highs. Tesla might see all-time highs, so keep an eye out for that. Alrighty, see ya.